everyone, welcome to another video from Somos Biology. In this video lecture, we are going to talk about apoptosis. Basically, in this series of lectures, we are going to talk about different aspects of apoptosis or cell death pathway, the programmed cell death pathway of a cell. So, in this four video series videos, we will see all the type of cell death pathways. This is the first video, first lecture when we discuss about the basics of apoptosis. What is apoptosis, how apoptosis is done and what are the crucial features of apoptosis. To understand apoptosis in a very uh, clear and crystal clear manner, I enlisted 10 important points. So, we will follow these 10 important points associated with apoptosis pathway for better understanding. Okay, so uh, when we start discussing about apoptosis pathway and the basics of apoptosis pathway, in very simple terms, if I ask anyone, they will say that apoptosis means what? It means cell death. Good, fine. Apoptosis means cell death. There are pathways or cell signaling uh, processes that leads to a cell to undergo the death bed, right? But cell death pathways can be of different types. Apoptosis is just one of such vast different types of cell death pathways. It's just one of many. So, what are the features of the cell death pathway that is apoptosis? You need to understand every single details in simple manner. The first thing that I want to discuss about is that when a cell die, its morphology gets altered. Because a living cell, if I simply draw animal cell which is living, healthy animal cell, uh, the cell is smiling basically, it's a living healthy cell. But what happens during apoptosis, after the apoptosis pathway, the cell will be dead, that's fine. But what the structure will look like at the end? It looks something like this. Okay. So, if imagine this is the DNA. This is the fragment that is generated. The DNA is fragmented and the cell is also, what we can say is, uh, small clusters of cell with the little bit structure of the membrane comes out known as membrane blebbing. So these are the morphological changes that happen. So the very first thing that you need to understand about the apoptosis is the morphological change. The morphological change is real and what kind of morphological change that we see is simply uh, the cell membrane. Cell membrane will break down. Basically shrinkage. Shrinkage to that. Okay, what else uh, happens here? DNA or degradation of the DNA or nucleic acid degradation. And what happens to the membrane? Membrane blebbing. Membrane blebs start to form. Bleb of membrane means what? When the cell is fragmented, all the components are floating in that uh, area with small membrane covering all those small portions of the cell. That is blebbed content of the membrane or membrane blebbing. Along with that, so we have shrink we have we have chromosome condensation we have chromosome condensation so we have chromosome condensation dna degradation and uh, the cell fragmentation and membrane blebbing these are the four important phenomena four important property or morphological changes incurred by a cell undergoing apoptosis second important factor now that is cell signaling which is highly related to apoptosis mechanism. Now, how exactly apoptosis is introduced with the help of cell signaling? Now, the cell signaling may originate internally, means intrinsic origin or it may origin from outside or extrinsic origin. Intrinsic or extrinsic origin. If it is originated internally or intrinsic origin, then the pathway will be known as intrinsic apoptosis pathway. And if the origin is extrinsic from outside of the cell, we call it extrinsic apoptosis pathway. Then we come to the third important step that is DNA fragmentation. What is this? As I mentioned, it's very, very important part of the apoptosis pathway. That is the DNA of the organism will be fragmented because ultimately everything that is governed inside of the cell is governed by the DNA itself, by the information that is stored in the DNA. So from DNA it will make RNA, from RNA it will make protein and proteins are the expression of the cell. The way the cells express itself is via the production of proteins. So what happens is that the DNA fragmentation will seal the possibilities of cell death even further because the DNA will be fragmented by whom? 
by basically DNAs obviously. DNAs, DNAs uh, are enzymes which will cleave and break down DNA structures, right? But the DNAs are in, uh, activated by another set of protein known as caspases. Now caspase proteins play a very crucial role in the process of apoptosis be it internal or external, any kind of pathway, but apoptosis pathway is generally related to the caspase. So this caspase has a direct role in signaling process or signaling aspect of the apoptosis as well. There are different kinds of caspase like caspase 7, 8, 9 known as in, in, in introductory caspase and there are uh, effective caspase or terminal caspase like caspase 3. So there are these different types of caspase proteins who initiate a process of signaling cascade that leads to the activation of DNAs which will break down the DNA of the apoptosis undergoing cell. Now the cell signaling process is found in uh, both intrinsic pathway as well as extrinsic pathway. But when the signaling process in, uh, started internally, it always starts from the mitochondrial changes. So, in an intrinsic apoptosis pathway, mitochondria has a more important role to play because in intrinsic apoptosis pathway, there will be mitochondrial changes observed in the cell. So, when you uh, look at a cell undergoing apoptosis inside the, uh, in, inside the microscope, when we see the image, what we can easily find out is that there will be changes in the nucleus because nuclear uh, envelope gets shredded, new DNA gets degraded. But if you see the mitochondria, you will also find out that the mitochondria, you will see, will also show you some morphological change. What are the morphological change? The morphological change that are shown here in the mitochondria is membrane permeability. The mitochondrial membrane becomes more permeable. This mitochondrial membrane start to have pores in it. So if I show you this, okay two membranes, external and internal membrane of mitochondria, inner and outer membrane. So there will be pores in the mitochondrial membrane and due to the formation of pore in the mitochondrial membrane, important signaling molecules will come from the matrix of the mitochondria to the cytoplasm. Okay? We will see this process in details in the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis. So do not skip that lecture. But there will be this mitochondrial morphological changes. And then caspase activation is another step caspase activation is generally done right after the external signaling for the process of external apoptosis where the external signaling molecule binds to the receptor activates caspase and caspase means as i told you there are introductory caspase who starts the process and there are ex uh, like executing caspase who actually completes the process so introductory caspase is caspase 8 9 and executory caspase is caspase 3. Okay, so caspase activation and, and the pathway of caspase cascade will also be discussed in the next lecture that is the extrinsic pathway of apoptosis lecture. Then comes the cellular engulfment. Cellular engulfment process is done right after all these events are done. When there is cellular like morphological changes, mitochondrial changes, caspase activation, finally DNA fragmentation and all this process at the end there will be cellular engulfment. Now, why, why cellular engulfment is required? I will give you an idea about it. So, what we are studying here is that cellular engulfment is a very important part. Why? Because when the cells start degrading itself, so it is basically cell degradation. Uh, if you see from outside, you will see the cell is degrading. The DNA is degrading, the mitochondria loses its uh, membrane permeability. So, everything is out of the hand now. So, this was a single cell, but now there are different fragments produced known as membrane blebbing. These fragments need to be engulfed, engulfed by phagocytic cells. Engulfed by phagocytic cells, by the phagocytosis process. So phagocytic cells are there in our body like macrophages are phagocytic cell and there are other phagocytic cells who will engulf all this fragment of the cell to clear that, uh, that area. Because basically if you kill someone there will be mess, right? So it will be scattered everywhere and to take all the scattered parts and portions and engulf it so to clear that area. And why this is so important is that because if those fragments are present in that area, if this apoptosis is going on in any part of the tissue of a body and if the fragments are present, then that will trigger inflammatory response. And what we want is to inhibit, what the cell wants during apoptosis is to inhibit the signal of inhibitory response.
uh, a signal of this inflammatory response because if inflammatory response is produced then the inflammation will alert our immune system cell that, that there's something going on there and our immune system cell will try to prevent it so in order to block the immune system to prevent apoptosis because apoptosis once started should continue and end it's not likely that there will be halfway through the death and the cell will can come back from the deathbed to a normal form. No, it's not possible. If the cell decides to go through apoptosis, it will do that for sure. Okay, it's very focused on that event. So inflammatory response is generally not generated in that sense because they are phagocytic cells, they will clear the uh, area. And then comes DNA repair inhibition. Basically, you know, when there is DNA damage in the cell, uh, when we easily know that during apoptosis, the DNA is being degraded. Double standard DNA breakdown is going on. So if DNA damage is done, automatically the cell cell's internal signaling mach uh, machinery is uh, placed in such a way is that they will trigger the DNA repair mechanisms. So they must trigger DNA repair mechanisms. If the DNA repair mechanisms are triggered, then there will be a lot of involvement of other proteins, involvement of energy uh, to fix this. But the cell don't want to fix it, cell wants to kill itself. So in that case, there is a very important uh, concept is that the cell will prevent the DNA repair mechanism. So any DNA repair mechanism that are present in the cell, the cell will inhibit that DNA repair mechanism at that moment of uh, apoptosis. Then comes the, then the, so that, this almost kinds of sum up, uh, sum up the whole idea of, uh, about apoptosis. Starting with the morphological changes to the cell, the morphological changes to the mitochondria, the caspase activation, DNA degradation, everything. Now, when we talk about all these important aspects, the two important aspects left is the physiological role of apoptosis and pathological role of apoptosis. What is the difference between the two? Like, like why they are so important? The physiological role of apoptosis is basically to kill a cell which is uh, internally ham uh, hampered or damaged. So if there is any cellular internal stress or external cell uh, stress detected by the cell, the cell decides to kill itself. That only uh, is the idea of physiological uh, role for an apoptosis. Because for example, in many cases, the cells that are present incur damage from the surrounding or maybe they are under stress. Stress, let's say, they are not getting proper nutrients for survival. So if the cell is not re uh, receiving proper nutrient for survival, not receiving proper cell signaling molecules as a growth uh, growth hormones or growth molecules uh, or the cell lacks any sort of signal that will allow the cell to survive then the cell undergo apoptosis so when a cell undergoes apoptosis it's not likely the whole tissue will be dead no one two of the neighboring cells they start uh, the process of apoptosis in order to prevent the spread of infection sometimes from one cell to the next cell so it kills itself so that the other neighboring t cells in the tissue can stay and live healthy. And what is the pathological role? Pathological role we can say is that this process of apoptosis is linked uh, to different types of, you know, down regulation of all this process may lead to the cancer because if there is no apoptosis, no cell death. So down regulation of apoptosis means apoptosis is not being regulated properly. A cell can continue to grow without being dead. So cell grow, grow, grow and grow ultimately leads to formation of tumor. And obviously at the moment when there is uh, no proper control over cells death and if there is any DNA damage, there is no proper control of cell killing, then automatically there is a chance that the normal cell may transform into a cancer cells. So that is a pathological role uh, of this apoptosis. So down regulation may lead to cancer. And in many cases, it's also related to the neurodegenerative disorder, which is upregulation of apoptosis. So if apoptosis mechanism is working very fast uh, in brain cells, particularly there will be damage to brain cells that leads to neurodegenerative diseases. Okay, so these are the two different pathological aspects of apoptosis. So that concludes our understanding of apoptosis and what is apoptosis, why apoptosis is so important and uh, what are the cues that leads to apoptosis and every single important aspects of apoptosis are discussed in this particular video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to get more videos like that in future. In the next lecture, we are going to talk about uh, the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis means how exactly apoptosis pathway originated by the cell itself inside of the cell involving mitochondria has an important role in it.
and second and the third lecture will be based on the extrinsic pathway of apoptosis with FADD fast associated death domain and fast ligand mediated pathway of apoptosis. So I believe you have a clear understanding. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Thank you. Bye.